Hi, it's Rebecca from The Lipstick Gal, and I wanted to give you a quick review of my birch box for April. First of all, one of the things that came in my birch box that I really loved was a sample of Juicy Couture's Viva La Juicy. And all I have left, first of all, I'll tell you, with two small girls in my house, every single piece of paper that comes in the mail and any type of packaging that comes with the box turns out like this. So this was the uh, welcome. <laughs> Since uh, this is my first, April was my first birch box. This is what happens. All of the packaging that comes along with it got destroyed. So I don't have a little paper card that came with the fragrant sample. This is all I have left. Um, I really loved the way this smelled. I asked my husband what he thought about it, and he said it smells sexy, it smells seductive. And I was like, okay, that was spraying it all over. I really, really like it. I'm looking for a new signature fragrance. Um, I usually only have two or three things that I wear. I don't like to have a whole like countertop full of things. I like to have one, maybe two things that I really wear frequently. Um, and that's kind of what I stick with for several years. And then I'll change things up. I fall in love with something new. But once I love something, I stick with it. I've been wearing the last seven years, the same fragrance. It's the Victor and Rolf Flower Balm. And I love it. I got it before it was even released in the United States. My parents picked it up when they were on vacation in Germany. It had just debuted in, in Europe. And so they brought it for me and I loved it. But it smells pretty yummy. I don't know. This might be in contention for one of my new favorite spots. So that was one of the items that came in my April bag. Another one was Showstoppers. It's basically body tape. It keeps your clothes from gaping, from falling open, from the girls from coming out. Um, things that would not, I guess it might keep you from having one of those fashion uh-oh moments. <laughs> you don't want to be a Tara Reed where something pops out that shouldn't. Um, or maybe remember Jennifer Lopez years ago in that green Versace dress at the Grammys where she had the deep plunging V and then the green you know dress flowing that had that big expanse of legs at the bottom and all that was holding it together was something around the waist and body tape yeah i don't think we had this sort of stuff then but if we did she would have been using a lot of these puppies <laughs> so uh, i'm waiting to use this for date night when someone else is home with my children and my husband and i get to go out and have a nice dinner and i get to wear one of my nice dresses that i would need showstoppers for Another item that came in my April birch box was June Jacobs Perfect Pumpkin Enzyme Polish. And um, I used it just a couple of days ago. I've not been really good at exfoliating anything more than my face, my face and my um, my chest area, my decollete, if you will. Um, I've been really good at keeping that polished and, um, you know, free and clear of dead skin cells so that it shines and it's beautiful. But then the rest of me, it looks like, okay, what's going on here? Because this does not compute. <laughs> and so I've been trying to use, um, and I realized that I can't just have beautiful skin here and the rest of me look like, you know, like four layers of dead skin cells from a month ago or something. So um, I started to use this other places. I used it on my hands even this morning and it did a really good job of exfoliating um, the skin off of my hands that had been dry and ick. Um, I always take good care of my nails and my cuticles, but sometimes the tops of my hands get really, really dry. And I did, you know, just slather on some moisturizer and go and I realize sometimes you just got to get rid of it before you can put on moisturizer and I know that because I do it for my face all the time but I don't always do it for my hands so I did that today the one thing uh, it works really well the one thing that I don't care for about it is the scent and that's because it does really smell like pumpkin it literally smells like pumpkin pie and being that I am not a pumpkin pie lover I know I just said that I don't like pumpkin pie you may be like are you crazy but I really don't care for it. You may love it. And if you do love the smell of pumpkin pie, this may be the right thing for you because you may want to eat it by the spoonful. Um, and since it's a natural thing, who knows? It might actually, preservative free, it might actually taste good too. <laughs> so there's that. Another thing that came in my April birch box that I was hoping would show up was one of these Color Club polishes. This one's called Age of Aquarius. It's actually one that I'm wearing in my manicure today. 
and um, I really, really liked it. It was one of those that um, is a really punchy green. It's a neon green, and I know neons are really hot for spring and summer, and I was so excited to see it. Um, and I happened to show up uh, yesterday, and my my one of my best girlfriends and I, and I didn't even know she'd gotten this. She was wearing it too. And we're like, oh look, look at our manis. We're so excited. Um, and I noticed yesterday afternoon that I had a couple of small places that had been chipping, and it's not the nail color. It was me. I've not been very good. I've been changing my polish like three times a week, and I use acetone, so my nails are really dry. So they're like the nail itself is like chipping and flaking on the end. And then on top of that, um, I also use my nails as tools. And I, with two kids, I'm always, you know, prying things open. Mommy, here, do this. And I use my nails as tools, which I know I should not do, but having done that, I'm almost always doing something I shouldn't with my nails. So my chipping my own manicure was my fault. It wasn't the color club. So there's that, but I really love this color and chances are I will need a full size and sooner than later. Uh, the last thing that came in my birch box for April that I really, really liked was this box. And when I saw it, I was like, oh my goodness, they sent me food. Cause I saw the coconut and the chocolate and the pineapple and everything else. And I was like, yum. And it turned out it's not, it's kind of like foodie beauty products. Cause it's be fine, fine food, skincare. And I was like, so cool, very, very cool. And it turned out the one thing that I fell in love with that I might have to have for myself is the Be Fine Brown Sugar Almond and Oat Face Exfoliator. Oh my goodness. This is so fantastic. I don't have a lot of time to be sitting at the sink to be like exfoliating my face. So what I did is I ripped off the top, I took it in the shower with me, and when my, you know, got everything all lathered up, I started just using it on my face. My face turned out literally, and it still is three days later, as smooth as a baby's bottom. Like it, it I, mean, I can't stop touching my face. It's so smooth. And after I got all of the dead skin off, my moisturizer just kind of sucked right in. It was fantastic. I love this. The other thing that was so great about this is the minute I opened it up, I'm even still trying to smell it through the packaging, which I know I can't, but it smelled like a bakery with the, with the brown sugar and the almonds. I mean, it just was yum-tastic. It was delicious smelling. I wanted to like scoop it out and eat it. It was so good. So good. The one disappointment in all of this was that in this box, they sent three samples of this and two samples of a moisturizer. And this is their rosemary, rice, and pomegranate moisturizer. And I would have loved to have tried this. I'm not going to because um, the samples, my samples happen to be expired. I know not everybody's were, um, but they sent out an email. The one thing I will have to say is boo for having sent out expired samples. But hooray for the way Birchbox did it. They were proactive about it. Now, when I get something in the mail from a company, I expect it to be ready to go and for me to use it. And so when I got the email, I really love the way they handled it. They said, we apologize. This is not the type of product we want you to expect from us. This is not acceptable. Um, and they said, here's, what we're, here's how we're going to handle it. And they handled it in a very, very professional way, I thought. And they explained what the mix-up was and how they assured us it would never happen again. And I thought, okay, yeah, everybody deserves a do-over, so cool. So they're going to put 100 points in my Birchbox account, um, which means that I get $10 in the Birchbox store. And I wasn't sure what I could do with $10 because shipping is usually $7. But then I realized these guys ship for free until May 10. So I'm going to get me a color club and it's going to ship for free. So I'm not sure if I'm going to get more of the Age of Aquarius green or if I'm going to get one of their other fabulous neon colors. And I'm not really the girl who wears a lot of bright colors until just recently. And now I can't get enough. So that's a review of my birch box, which I loved. I can't wait till next month when the Gossip Girl one shows up at my door. Um, between now and then, I hope you continue to enjoy reading more of The Lipstick Gal. And since I'm new to blogging, if you have any suggestions or questions or topics you want me to write about, please, please let me know. And thanks for taking the time to watch today.